2014 has been a comeback year in the career of major champion Anna Norquist. Anna made an explosive start to life on the LPGA Tour in 2009, winning the McDonald's LPGA Championship in just her fifth tournament. But she hadn't won since that season until this year when she picked up two LPGA titles. She's been talking to Golfing World about her welcome return to form. This has been probably my best year so far on tour. Uh, I'm very happy to see all my hard work paying off. I'd say that my last two or three years has been very consistent, um, but unless you get a win, you won't look back at it as a successful year. As 2014 got underway, it had been more than four years since she lifted an LPGA trophy, but she was quickly into her stride, winning the Honda LPGA Thailand. She opened with a 66, led all the way, but the Swede needed a strong back nine to hold off one of the LPGA's biggest names. I definitely say it's my most, most emotional win of them all. Just having to work so hard for it and, you know, having my ups and downs and, you know, coming down the stretch and having um, world number one in the park at the time, you know, chasing me down and, you know, just be able to hit my best shots and I think I shot five under on the back nine. Four weeks later, she won again, this time in California at the Kia Classic, proving she was back to her best. But go back 18 months and things were very different. Struggling with her game, Anna was not in a good place. I really considered quitting. Uh, I lost all the motivation and inspiration for the game and, um, you know, I had to make a couple changes in my life. And uh, I just really had great family there to support me. My younger brother came out to caddy for me and it, it kind of turned it around and made me, you know, start believing in myself. and. You know, I just, I just didn't enjoy it anymore, and then it's hard to put in all the hard work that's, that's required to be out here competing. Fortunately, she has turned it around, and in addition to her wins this year, she's posted six other top ten finishes. Despite winning both a major and the tour championship back in 2009, Anna feels her golf now is stronger. I feel like my game is in a much better place. Uh, it's taking a lot of years out here to kind of figure everything out, you know, figure out my way to play and um, I think it's a lot about maturing. I'm 27 now, so I guess I'm a little bit more experienced than most girls. Anna's year continued a recent purple patch for Swedish golf. Last year, Henrik Stenson became the first man to lift both the Race to Dubai and the FedEx Cup in the same season. He continued that strong form in 2014, and after winning the Dubai World Championship again, he's currently ranked a career-high number two in the official world rankings. The way Henrik Stenson has been playing, you know, it's been very inspirational, and uh, you know, I don't, I don't think people understand how good he is, and uh, it's great that he has gotten some recognition and attention in Sweden. Uh, the last couple of years, and, you know, he's the role, role model. Anna and her fellow Swede Caroline Hedwall got plenty of recognition themselves following their heroics at the Solheim Cup last year. Anna made a memorable hole-in-one as the underdog Europeans recorded their first ever victory on US soil. Yeah, I think, you know, there's certain moments you live for and you practice for, and it's to be able to pull that Best, uh, like special shot off, like in the right moment. Uh, it's you know the more I, the more I think about it, the more I watch it. Like the more I un I understand how how important, how cool, like how how special that moment is. Because it was, was really to close out the match, and you know you can make hole in ones, but to make it on 17 when you're one up, uh, it's quite a special feeling. This year, Anna played for Team Sweden in the international crown, and that taste of representing her country has whetted her appetite for golf's long-awaited return to the Olympic Games in 2016. Currently 12th in the world rankings, her chances of qualifying to play in Rio look good. Just be able to have golf included in the Olympics, you know, makes us have something bigger to look forward to. Um, I know Sweden's going to have like a camp uh, end of next year where all the potential Olympic athletes is going to participate. And, and for, me, for me as a golfer to be able to be a part of you know, other athletes you know, camps or experience and be able to meet them, it's very unique and you know, I, can't, I can't wait to you know, 
tried to play my way onto the Olympic team and uh, head down to Rio. Thank you.